good morning welcome to the morning session sabhi ko namaste good morning and welcome so we've been talking about uhv3 and in uhv3 we were up to lecture 16 in module 4 where we are talking about the existence so yesterday we were talking of we were trying to get some understanding about the existence and we said that the existence is in the form of coexistence which is ever present it is there in this coexistence there are units <clears throat> which are submerged in space when we said when we talked of the units we said that the units are limited in size they are they have activity they are active on the other hand space is unlimited in size it is all pervading and it is no activity so this is the major difference between units and space if we further look at the units we said that there are two types of units the material units and the consciousness units in the material units there is recognizing and fulfilling this is going on in the case of the consciousness units now there is an added role of assuming so assuming colors or depending on the assuming the recognizing and fulfilling happens and in these consciousness units particularly in the human being there is also a potential for knowing if you look at the material units they are temporary if you look at the consciousness units they are continuous in time and of course if you see the space the coexistence it is you know space is unbounded in time and in size while the units we said were limited in size so we were talking about this and we also ask you to reflect on this and then if there are any questions we can take those otherwise we'll go further from here okay so let's go further so we said existence is in the form of coexistence which is in the form of units submerged in space this coexistence is ever present it is there in all time in all space space here means everywhere now being in coexistence in space certain characteristics come about in the units being in this coexistence in space every unit is energized we said units are activity they are active they have energy for this activity 
and it is going on. You see, any unit you find there is energy, it is active. You take small units, atoms, molecules, they are active, something is going on. You take bigger units, you take the sun, moon, earth, some activity is going on. The rotation is happening, revolutions are happening. Things are going on in a very definite manner. So they are active, they seem to have the energy for it. If you look at the body, there are so many processes of digestion, circulation, all these things are happening. That requires energy. So this is also, you know, they are, that energy is there, they are active. If you look at the self, in the self we are, we have this imagination. It's going on all the time. The body gets tired, body gets sick, we give rest to the body, but the imagination is still going on. It is active. The self is active and it has this energy to continue with this imagination all time. So you find that every unit being in coexistence in space is active, has this energy. Every unit, that is one characteristic. Another characteristic is that every unit being in space is self-organized. Meaning, things are happening in a definite manner. Things seem to be structured in a particular way. It's not just random activities. It doesn't just, suddenly something doesn't just happen. There is a pattern. There is a self-organization. For us, it may seem like, you know, when the form is changing on the surface, because we tend to focus only on the form. So we think, oh, so many random things are happening. But if you look carefully in the base, nothing is random. Everything is happening in a very self-organized, definite manner. In the case of the material units, there is no choice in the matter. That is how it is. In the case of the consciousness units, particularly in the case of the human being, there is a particular choice. The human being, in the human being, the self. The body, again, is material and has is self-organized in a def definite manner. In the case of human being, the self, self is also self-organized in the sense that we have this definiteness that whenever we have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to us, we feel unhappy. This self-organization is also there that this need is there for us to be happy. So we try to seek happiness from anywhere and everywhere. But we also have the choice. We have been given the choice. Whether we understand this and make the right choices is up to us. When we make the right choices, we feel happy. When we don't make the right choices, we feel unhappy. That we cannot change. That part is self-organized, that is definite. So these were two characteristics we talked of. Every unit is energized, it is active, being in space. And every unit is self-organized, being in this coexistence in space. Third characteristic is every unit recognizes its relationship with other units and fulfills it. This part also is definite in the other units. 
you will find that is how it is. The earth has a relationship with the sun. So it moves around the sun and has continued to do so for billions of years. That is how it is. It's doing it in a very definite manner. The moon goes around the earth. There also you see a lot of definiteness. You look at any unit. Plants grow in a particular way, there is definiteness. Mango trees always give rise to mangoes. Suddenly a papaya doesn't land up in there. There is definiteness. You put a seed in the soil, it takes root, it grows. You don't do anything. You just plant the seed, maybe provide a little water. Sunlight is already there, air is there. The growth is happening on its own. How is the root taking what it needs from the soil? It recognizes its relationship and fulfills that, fulfills that relationship with the other unit. You will find this in every unit in nature. When it comes to the human being, again the body there is definiteness in this recognition and fulfillment. We took the example in the first level workshop about how if you pierce a needle in the skin, if the needle is harder than the skin, it will always pierce the skin. That part is definite. If the needle is softer, needle meaning, it won't really be a needle then. If that object is softer than the skin, it will not pierce the skin. This is definiteness, definite recognition and fulfillment. But in the case of the self, it has to do with assuming and knowing. This recognition and fulfillment is not definite because we have the choice. We either assume things to be the way they are or we understand and know things the way they are. If we assume something which is not really true, then we may be making wrong choices. If we understand things the way they are, then we do the, make the right choices. For instance, if I assume that every other human being is separate from me, I have no relationship with them, then I may behave a certain way. I may see myself as different from them. I may have a feeling of opposition to them. And my behavior will be in that manner with them. So because I don't have a feeling in line with my natural acceptance, I'm also happy. Uh, I'm also unhappy. And I'm making the other also unhappy in the process with my behavior with my expression to the other. But if I understand that this coexistence is there, we are all submerged in space, being in space, we already are related. You don't have to make a relationship. You don't have to develop a relationship. There is already a relationship. You just need to understand it to be able to see it. Then if I understand that relationship, then I am able to recognize the relationship and fulfill the relationship. And there, once I know, once I can see things for myself, there can be definiteness. Then I am in happiness with the right feeling within me. And when I express it to the other, it leads to happiness in the other also. So there you can see that it is the human being and particularly the self of the human being that is having this problem 
with recognizing the relationship being with that self organization understanding the self organization understanding the relationship and fulfilling the relationship every other unit you can see that this is happening in a very definite manner so we said that this coexistence is ever present it's there in all time everywhere it is also ever effective that means this principle of coexistence of you know the units being energized self organized being in relationship all that it is applying to every reality from the smallest atom to the biggest to the nature as a whole as we just described yeah so any questions on this otherwise we'll move forward hello yes please yes uh, namaste namaste madam namaste namaste <laughs> uh, in in, in relation tip with and uh, recognition uh, i want a bit little clearance and that Uh, relationship means it's uh, sometimes it is also understood as innateness because that is the characteristics they maintain with the other unit see so, when it comes to innateness it is within the unit how the unit is when it comes to relationship you are relating that unit with another unit yeah yeah Okay. so what is the when difference? it comes to relationship there are always at least two units involved yeah yeah okay innateness is within the unit itself yeah the self organization that is there within the unit yeah that is how it is hmm. like the body hmm. the body is self organized in a manner that digestive processes are going on the you no know, circulatory processes are going on so many processes are going on in the body things are happening in a very definite manner you look at any unit things are happening in a very definite manner hmm. but when it comes to relationship then it's not just that unit now you are seeing the relationship of that unit with the other units and how they are related how they are recognizing the relationship and fulfilling that relationship so that is also happening in a very definite manner so far as the material units and even in animals but in the relationship relationship is definite or it may change uh, depending on the situation no relationship is definite and in the case of every other unit the recognition every other order the recognition and fulfillment is definite only in the case of the self of the human being we may not understand this we may not see the relationship from time to time therefore it keeps changing our view our assumption we assume something so for instance if i assume that people who have opinions like mine i am related to them i will always interact with them in a different manner i will interact nicely with them when i interact with others who have different opinions from mine then i don't see that relationship sometimes and i have feeling of opposition because i have assumed that the relationship is only with those who have opinions similar to mine so we have you know sometimes we make differences between classes sects different religions so we have one type of feeling and one type of behavior for those belonging to what we call our religion but we have a different feeling different behavior with those who belong to a different religion or we may have this feeling of relationship for those who belong to our country 
but we have a feeling of opposition for those who don't belong to our country so those who are of a different country but the relationship is already there it is our assumption can you see that yes yes but in case there is difference of opinion so in that case the the relationship is not definite ha ah, we are not recognizing the relationship yes but we can recognize the relationship also isn't it we can see that relationship is there this is only difference in opinion mm mm-hmm. isn't it that is very much possible Mm-hmm. doesn't mean that if we see our relationship then everything has to be the same way for all of us the form can be different na yeah. properties can be different opinions can be different i can see that within the self there are similarities but the content of the imagination can be different for different people that doesn't change my relationship with them mm-hmm. you see so if i can see this then even though i have difference in opinion with the others i can still have feeling of relationship for them and no. see it as a difference in opinion that's all so in that case can you say that there is a universal self and we have a if you difference it is only self and we should go refer to all universal self no what is, is the universal self each of us is separate no No, separate that's all right but huh. the in case there is standard different i mean uh, i don't uh, have the same opinion like you, with you in mm-hmm. that yourself is different and myself is different but there is a universal self that is the reference no, no. point it's not a different it's not a universal self the self is separate for each person the self is separate it's a separate unit by itself within that self you have the b2 block and you have the b1 block these two don't separate mm-hmm. so there's no universal self it is within the self there is a pure part and what is that pure part actually that is a reflection of the coexistence reflection of the way things are that is how it is the same in all of us mm mm-hmm. Hmm? but it is still a separate self that is why each self has similar natural acceptance because the reflection of the coexistence is there in each self but you can't separate these two mm-hmm. hmm? yeah yeah okay okay thank you thank you नमस्ते सभी को एम आई ऑडिबल दीदी सो दीदी वॉट जस्ट द डिस्कशन दैट वॉज गोइंग ऑन सो कैन वी से दैट एवरीथिंग इज डेफिनेट एक्सेप्ट माई बिहेवियर बिकॉज माई बिहेवियर डिपेंड्स ऑन एजम्पन एंड प्री कंडीशनिंग यू कैन से दैट बट इन माई केस ऑल्सो इफ आई गेट टू नोइंग फॉर विच आई हैव द पोटेंशियल when i get to knowing then there can be definiteness in my behavior also yes. i am the only one out of line right now i yes. meaning the self of the human being yes yes so everything so is now i can now understand yeah. i know for which i have the potential then i can also be in line with that be with that definite yes 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 it is very difficult didi <laughs> i mean i can see definite as definiteness in everything every unit but when it comes to me i just see that it is so indefinite the behavior i am talking about yes it yes. is indefinite yes. yeah but you see earlier we weren't even tuned yes. to this uh, yes i was not aware yes now we have started working on it so we will get there potential yes, yes. is there we just have to tap that potential pay attention to it pay attention yes. to all of the existence the pattern in the existence and be one with it yes yes didi thank you thank you 
Yes. So we'll go further now. So if you see this coexistence, we said it is ever expressing. How is it expressing? You can see the expression in the nature. So we said we classified nature into four orders based on certain characteristics. And you will see how things are progressively becoming more and more complex. Units are, you know, in the, as you go from one order to the other, things are going progressively in more complex ways. The development is, you know, becoming more and more. So if you look at the physical order, we have the physical order, we have the bio order, we have the animal order and the human order. If you look at the physical order, all the way from small atoms to heavenly bodies, all of that comes under the physical order, the material part. So there, there is total definiteness. There is no choice. That is how it is. The next level, little more progression, you see the bio order. Now in the bio order, there is what we call uh, respiration, pulsation. That is there. This is something that was not there in the physical order. But you see it in the bio order. Some progression has happened. Little more complexity is there. Uh, in the physical order, you don't see growth. But in the bio order, you see it can grow. And there are all these many, 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 many cells which are functioning together. And if you look at the human body, the human body is also an example of, you know, what you see in the bio order in terms of the body itself. So there, there is more complexity more than a plant. But there also you will see that it exists. You know, in the physical order, it was only existing. There was no respiration, no growth. In the bio order, it exists. There is respiration also. It grows also. In the human body also, which is part of that bio order, you see the same things. It exists. There is respiration. There is growth. But the complexity may be more no? in the processes. Then you come to the animal order. Now here, there is more complexity. And now a consciousness unit engages, associates with it. And in the consciousness units, the consciousness units are awakened to the activities of selecting tasting, largely. So in the animal order, you find that these animals are mostly engaged in selecting tasting, likes, dislikes, eating what they like, not eating what they don't like, so on. But not beyond that. Certainly, in the animal order, there is no chance of... Um, you know, when we talk of potential of knowing and all, all that is not there. They are not awakened to much more than selecting tasting. And therefore, even see the next level, we say analysis, logic, all that is not possible for the animal order. They are not awakened to those activities. Then you have a more advanced or whatever you can call it, a more complex unit if you, or order, that is the human order. Now, in the human order, we already talked of the body part. The body is belonging to that by order. But the self, which is now associating with the human being, I mean, with the human body, this is awakened to more activities, not just selecting, tasting, but even analyzing. 
even imaging and there is also as part of our self organization we have a need to know and we have a potential to know also so you can see how progressively this coexistence is expressing itself with the characteristics becoming more and more complex more and more advanced or whatever you want to call it so sometimes you may feel that as a human being you are sitting at the top of the pyramid you no know? you have the maximum potential and yet when you don't understand things the way they are then you are creating havoc for the rest of the pyramid but we must remember that we are sitting at the top means we may be the most developed so called developed advanced whatever but when we make the wrong choices it threatens the survival of the human being itself because when we don't understand things the way they are we disrupt things around us we have wrong assumptions about things in nature about things all around us yes but if we can see that we are part of this coexistence and this coexistence there is definiteness then we can just understand it and be with it can we go to the next slide yes. so being in this coexistence we talked of the units no the units are energized they are self organized they are recognizing and fulfilling their relationship if you look at the space which is the basis in this coexistence there what we say for energy is there is no activity we already said that but energy is available there is an equilibrium energy you can say energy is available for the units self organization is available for the units and because this space is all reflecting it is transparent it is giving us this opportunity to recognize the relationship and fulfill that relationship that all reflecting transparent characteristic is what we are seeing in us as the natural acceptance but we have been given the choice you need not refer to it if you don't feel like but it is there it is there in each one of us and we can see that till we referred to it we didn't know of its existence so we saw everything as separate but once you start referring to it you can see the similarity you can see that every unit how it is in this coexistence and we can be also a part of it we are already a part of it only we don't understand it. so we are because of our wrong assumptions we are making many wrong choices but we can understand things the way they are we have the potential and we have that reflection within us at all times we can take help from there we can take guidance from there that is our natural acceptance that is how we all have the same natural acceptance yeah so now you can see in this whole pattern in this whole existence how everything is already in order isn't it this chart you are familiar with we have done this chart before
that this progression you know from the material units um you know the physical order the bio order in the consciousness units between the animal order and the human order you can see this progression how in the physical order like we just said things are happening they exist but there is you know processes are there you know atoms molecules they are moving if you look at a chair so you see the perception for us it seems like this chair if if you look at a chair that it is solid wood and it has a form this is what we see but if you could see the way it really is then you will see that this also has lot of atoms lot of molecules inside there are they are constantly moving they are there is lot of activity so it may seem like this is a dead thing there is no activity in this but there is activity there also only we are not able to see it because we are trying to see things from the gross eyes if you look at the bio order then in the bio order like we said it they don't just exist there is respiration there is growth that we can see because the the form changes as the form changes we can appreciate it so there is a small you know seedling we put the seed in the soil a small plant comes up we can see it growing what we don't see is what is happening inside the ground there is a whole process happening there also no? the root is going deeper 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 taking what it needs in modern science what has happened is our focus is largely on the material so we make some assumptions based on whatever we perceive things as but it may not be the whole truth isn't it like the other day there was a discussion about newton's laws so newton's laws talk about you know the apple falling down because you can see it but what about all the processes that took place for it to form in the tree do we have say, you know answers about that that is also happening in a very definite manner no there is this um law of gravity working that we can see things are you know coming down you throw something up it comes down this part we can see we can appreciate so we talk about it but then there are many other things like this innateness of the orders like the natural characteristic their relationship these are also very definite laws in the existence but we are not able to perceive it so we don't bring it in so you can see how our perception gets changed because of this these wrong kind of assumptions so that is why it is important there is a need to know the existence the way it is each of us needs to know it the way it is so that we can make the right choices and with that you know we can go forward and try to not only be one with the existence be in line with the pattern in existence but also to take this forward so that not just that we have definite human conduct but that we can have this happen generation after generation after us also 
so that that you know what we call of the universal human order that can be there the universality can be maintained and it can be a tradition it can happen generation after generation after generation that possibility is there provided we try to understand it. but we can see that we do have the potential for it yeah any questions yes didi good morning good morning to everybody didi two questions one is if you could uh, explain the concept of transparent in space that is one mm-hmm. and the second second okay after that i'll ask you the second question yeah so in space space is transparent hmm? so we don't see it with the gross eyes but we do have the potential to be able to see it as we start being able to see more and more subtle things so you know first we have to develop the competence to be able to you know as you go from the lower activities within the self to the higher activities mm-hmm. you develop the competence to see more and more and more subtle things and you have to reach to the highest level the highest activity within the self the activity of realization mm-hmm. by then you develop the competence to be able to see this space directly but be- being transparent every unit is reflecting onto every other unit so that is why you will notice that sometimes when you are around some people you feel you know what we call vibes mm-hmm. that i don't get good vibes here i get good vibes there correct but we have to see this that they may not understand right they may not be able to see the relationship but if i am in the process of trying to understand mm-hmm. then i do have the choice i can see my relationship with them and i can overcome this very easily because that choice is in me to have the right feeling mm-hmm. my natural acceptance has not changed the pattern mm-hmm. in the existence has not changed the coexistence has not changed it is just that the other person assumes something about it which is not true mhm but i don't have to do that i can still refer to my natural acceptance which was there before it is there now it is unchanged and i can make that choice okay yeah? didi coming back to this uh, same uh, i mean reflection on transparent also it is is it like when you said uh like for example uh, how the light uh, kind of reflects you talk about reflection so maybe the light of the sun reflects on the moon is is that something to do with it also Or see no again we are trying to look at it from the gross perspective so you c- cannot really make analogies like that because that is something very different no that you are able to see that you are able to see the impact yeah light from the sun it falls on the earth it falls on the moon it falls here there the impact of that you are able to see yes but space is something far more subtle much beyond this and being there see the characteristics of space even though uh, you know these units you see how they are self organized how they are energized so this is what we are saying that space uh, being in space this energy is provided to them it is there for mm-hmm. them being in space this self organization is there being in space seeing that relationship is there right now what you are describing is the effect of one unit on another unit the relationship yes. of one unit with another unit but the whole thing of you know how that is functioning how it is happening being in space it's happening 
so you can't really correlate the two and say that that's how space is right now it may be difficult for us to even you know think about it because it is beyond thought it is something far more subtle mm -hmm. you know? yes we can certainly use words we can that's what we have been doing but ultimately it is such a subtle reality that it has to be directly experienced only mm -hmm. then and those who have experienced also if they have to say it in words they find it very hard so you you will notice that different masters who have realized also mm -hmm. they talk of the you know the laws in the nature more than the space itself mm -hmm. because words don't suffice okay got it yeah. got it the second question was uh, on uh, yeah on activity completeness in the human order where mm -hmm. is living with right understanding feeling thought uh, and all so somewhere is that is is if i use the word right dharma from the scriptures will that somewhat fit into this dharma you can say is the you know for every unit when you say what is its dharm what is its innateness what is its self organization mm. no so that will give a different uh, you can use a different term for that but so, when you are saying for us for every unit it will be you know how to be in line with the existence that is your dharma okay so, so when when you also mention making right choices which will also lead to happiness so will that correlate to right dharma yeah i mean ultimately i want to be able to see the nature the way it is i need to be able to see the existence the way it is and come in line with that that is my whole purpose isn't it so i need to be able to do this how i start with the natural acceptance that glimpse that is there in me and i work towards you know understanding more and more and i understand more and more as my you know ability to understand becomes more and more that means as i awaken to the higher activities mm -hmm. so we have to start from the very base you know mm -hmm. we can see that a lot of times our thoughts itself are in turmoil yes. so when the thoughts are in turmoil you can't go beyond it it's like a cloud you can't yes. see beyond it because that cloud is hanging over so first i have to sort that out how do mm. i sort it out i can work with my natural acceptance i can bring my feelings and thoughts in line with my natural acceptance so even though i don't have that you know completeness of understanding that glimpse is there in each one of us that's how we have that potential yeah. we have to tap it we have to refer to it so once you start referring to it you get over this this cloud that is there you make it settle then so, things become clearer the activities that we have to awaken to that whole it's there i just have to be able to see it that's hmm. all so it will i mean i'm just kind of uh, coming in my thoughts as in when, when you're talking and something's happening with my thoughts as well so will it also correlate to let's say if we are doing anything like mostly or let's say if you're doing something which is contradictory and then there is some voice inside which says no don't do it or you know which kind of holds us back from taking any action which means but which we call our consciousness i mean or atma you know which you say okay i'm this is all consciousness right i mean even the wrong choices you are making are happening in the consciousness only hmm 
Atma is not something separate. It is part of the consciousness. This is what is being said. Hmm. Hmm? So it's about the inner voice which kind of talks to us. That inner voice is natural acceptance. Okay. We keep referring to the natural acceptance as inner voice. Sometimes hmm. we may be having just conflicting thoughts. Mm-hmm. But that's why we say, you know, that spontaneous answer that comes from within, that pure part in you, mm. that is the natural acceptance. That's okay. the first thing in the first workshop itself we say, you know, the purpose mm. of the workshop is to start that dialogue. Okay. Yes. That is this dialogue. Okay. Got it. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. Any other questions? We can go to the next slide and look at the what to do for the self-reflection part. Yeah, open up the slide, please. Yeah. So now we can reflect on this. When you are looking at two units in nature, what do you see in between the two? You are looking at this distance between the two, the gap, the void, or are you able to see the property of the unit, the effect of one unit on the other unit? Is that where your focus is? Or are you able to see the relationship between the two, the relatedness? Or are you able to see the harmony in every unit separately and you know, the combination of the two also being in harmony and ultimately we want to be able to see the coexistence in each unit and that combination of unit in space. So going from our lowest activity to the higher activities, when you are at selecting and tasting, you may be seeing the gap. When you are going with your thought analysis, those kind of things, then you may be able to see the property, the effect of one unit on the other. When you have awakened to contemplation, you can see the relationship between the two. Not only see the relationship, but live it. So then, when we interact with others, always to be able to see the relationship and to have the feeling of relationship, regardless of the state of the other. The other lacks understanding for me to be able to see that and accept that, and yet be able to see the relationship and participate in the relationship, play my part play my role, as it is in nature. So I think our focus can be on that one, because there itself we have a lot of issues. No? So harmony, coexistence comes later. I think we can focus on our relationship between the two units and see where we stand and how we can go forward. With this, how we can, we need to uh, sort of practice this, keep referring to the natural acceptance, practice it, and then bring it in our living. Once it starts coming in our living, then slowly we are awakening to the higher activities one by one. It has to be in progression. So let's not rush things. Let's not try to say, okay, yes, I can see the coexistence and go step by step. It will happen slowly. It will take a long time. Start with the contemplation part. Seeing my part, my role. So everybody has, you know, you, you know, one, one way, uh, say one thing can be that I have conflict in my thoughts. And even if I go in nature, I am disturbed because so much conflict is there, that cloud of thoughts in me. 
so i am creating disturbance for myself i may progress from there and be able to be calm comfortable within me but then when i am in touch with or interacting with somebody who has very strong opinions different from mine or who lacks understanding and is emotionally disturbed and is shouting screaming now i may get impacted by that so i have to go beyond that i have to be able to see my relationship even with that person i have to be able to see that my natural acceptance is still the same it has not changed the pattern in the existence is unchanged just because he or she lacks understanding i don't have to react i can be able to see the relationship i just need to be aware so let us try to keep our focus on that and see in the second question that is mentioned here can you see that the self and body are two distinct realities in coexistence in fact this is not as simple as it sounds you know at the level of thought we can see yes the needs are different activities are different self and body you know one is we say one is consciousness unit one is material unit but to be able to see the coexistence really speaking you would be you know you would have to see it as coexistence in space that means you would have to have the ability to be able to see space also so that may be a little tough but to begin with to be able to see the distance between the two so in exercise 2 step 4 we ask that no any sensation that is there in the body are you that sensation are you in that sensation so you're trying to see that there is a distance between the self and the body and ultimately we will be able to see that each of them is in space and this transaction of information is happening through space but all that is more advanced Uh, state let's not rush into that let's try to focus on these two things in the first question to see the relationship between two units and how we can be you know um, aware of it and live it secondly to be able to try to see the distance between the self and the body and after this lecture now we'll be going back to step 7 of exercise 2 which we had left out yeah so we'll reflect on this if there are any questions immediately we can take them in fact actually we are kind of out of time but we can reflect on this for today i'll post it on the group also and then if there are questions and observations we'll take them tomorrow and then we'll move on to step 7 of exercise 2 we'll do a little recap of exercise 2 and then go on to step 7 ji 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 thank you so much for uh, such an enriching session and thanks to all our co explorer to take part in the discussion